Got it stoke at the store, stroke on the small. Tell me to quit, no, say what I'm told. They help me forget that this world. What's going on guys, Shudicted here with the uh, Nike performance review of the Soldier 10. Yeah. So, as the song makes it clear, we're going to start from the bottom and move our way up to the top. Now we do. Okay, go. Okay, I get it. Okay. So the 10. Okay, starting out with the... Yeah, back again. Danny Boy, like usual, here with Liam Lee, and our guest star, Jeremy. Okay, so starting it off with the traction. How is the traction? Yeah, how is the traction? The traction's pretty good. It feels good on your feet. And <laughs> how much stopping power would you say it has? Uh, it stops pretty well. Uh, as you can see um, in the beginning of the video, it's um, when I slid. Oh, actually, I didn't slide. I, went, I, I ran, I stopped. It was, it stopped all what hard. about on dusty courts? Do you have any problems on dusty courts? On dusty courts, it could be a problem because we were on a court when we did this, but you would probably slide because the dust would so they wipe it off. Two, three plays. Yeah, two or three plays. Okay, yeah. cushioning. For cushioning, the Soldier 10 has bottom loaded zoom. Yeah, so. Which means it's the zoom in the shoe is not right under you, it's at the bottom. Kind of like in the KD9, so it's not full length, like right yeah. here. You can see in these little squares here that the zoom is under there. Oh, yeah, and this is what the traction pattern looks like. It's a bunch of squares. Yeah, squares. Squares on squares on squares. Let's go with this yeah. Okay, and two giant squares right here. Work our way up. Yeah. So the midsole. It has a phylon midsole. Also like here. the KD9. Phylon. Yes. Oh, no, that no, Most phylon. Most soles have phylon for the midsole. Yeah. Like every single shoe. Like almost every single shoe. Like this is Lunalon with phylon. That's an interesting fact. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then, the uh, the midsole. Uh, I don't. I really like the color of the midsole. It goes well with the shoe and. Depends on what color, color yeah. you get. I don't know. Yeah, color yeah, it actually it depends. I don't know what color it's called, but it's just basically black. It, it's black, purple, clear, and white. Okay, it looks good. Yeah, we'll move on to the upper. The upper yeah. the so, ventilation with the upper. Uh, the ventilation's pretty good. When I used it, my feet didn't get hot. Well, your feet might get really hot after like hours of basketball, but. Just, uh, if you're just playing on playing like one game or just playing outside for a bit, it's pretty good. Speaking of playing outside, the durability, it's soldiers are used, are usually really good geared for, for outdoor, outdoor use. use. So very durable, so you can play inside outside. Yeah, it the has hard, hard rubber. Kind of like the Nike Ascensions. They have a pretty hard rubber. 
Okay. Soldier line is geared for Odin. Of Thor use, yeah. The, um, there is no heel slippage, which is good. I finally found out what heel slippage was. And uh, because, of, because of the top strap, it keeps your ankle in, and I wouldn't recommend using an ankle brace with these shoes because it's really um, it's tight. It's really tight around yeah. your ankle. Yeah. So talking about the straps, there's three main straps on the Soldier 10. Just for look? Yeah. Just the look. two on the forefoot are mainly for looks. The yeah. first strap does nothing, right? Yeah, it's completely pointless. This one the kind second of one what? kind of helps with lockdown. Yeah, uh, just a bit, not not a ton. But I, this top strap around your ankle is what does everything, right? Almost like it, yeah, it, yeah, it works pretty good. You would not recommend using an ankle brace? Would not recommend uh, smelling them after use. I have a shoe there. Okay. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, the aesthetics. Aesthetics. The aesthetics. The aesthetics. Okay. The aesthetics, I, I personally really like how these shoes look. I think it's a nice looking shoe. Hi, all. It looks so Comment down below if you like the shoe and how it looks. Yeah, it just depends on what colorway you get. It don't look like a boot, kind of, actually. Like, yeah, it like does this. look like a boot. But the There's sole. No inside. If you like the sole, the sole's like a... If you like squares. Squares. I love squares. Squares, squares is my favorite color. color. Squares are your favorite color? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talking about the... Whatever we were just talking about. We're talking about <laughs> the sole. Okay. The ankle piece yeah, right here, bar, yeah. how yeah. Where it looks like a boot, you know? <laughs> Not what we're talking about. We were, then. <laughs> so, it, your ankle does not roll barely ever, because yeah. it has really good ankle support because of that amazing. third strap here. Oh, yeah. amazing heels. <laughs> Shut up, Zane. Show them how easy it is to get on your foot, man. Slip it in, tighten it up if you have a, uh, if you have like a really small ankle like me. It fits pretty good. Did you talk about the fit yet? Oh yeah, so going on to the fit. There's no heel slippage because of that third strap. Recommend using a, uh, a size down because they're pretty big shoes. Check yeah. like all other Nikes are normally pretty big for your feet. They look pretty yeah. big. I don't know, they look skinny to me. I don't know if they are, but... Maybe just because they, they have look a really a bit small. small but maybe, maybe just because they have a really small. For fat feeted people, I wouldn't use them. Yeah, they're a narrow shoe. Maybe because you have a really small foot, maybe that's why they're so narrow. Yeah. You have like a four or four and a half or something. Okay. So the materials for the upper is this mesh material kinda, for most of the upper with hard this. Kind of hard though. Kind of feels like Yeah, a it's a hard mesh, mesh. with foam underneath of the mesh. Oh, okay. Then they have Velcro. This is like a. What is that? Yeah. That's kind of like I don't even know this part is. right here. There's this kind of plasticky almost mm -hmm. material right here. Mm -hmm. And then there's some holes in it with help with ventilation there. Rubbery bottom. Yeah. yeah like most shoes have a rubbery bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And then inside you have this purplish color, violet color for all you fancy people. Sorry for that little cut, but we're back. We're going straight to the point. Okay. We're going right into the ratings. Let's go traction. What do you, what do you Traction. Call? I give the traction about a, a seven, seven and a half. Seven. 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 Six and a half. Seven. Seven on clean courts, six on dusty courts. Okay, next. Next. Cushion. Cushion in. in. Uh, I give the cushion a s five. Five, yeah. I'll give it a five. It's not very good. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, midsole does not get a rating, although it will get a ten. I give it a twelve. I give it a ten because it looks pretty. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now going on to the upper. Uh, upper. The materials, basically. For oh, yeah. Upper. The materials are cool. Nine. They look stylish. I'll, I'll give, give it a nine. I'll give it a ten. Okay. Looks for durability. Ten. 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 Look, it's durable. Breathability, overheating. Seven doesn't look. Seven doesn't yeah. look really look like just because like the top. See, a lot of straps. Maybe. It's and now fit kills. Yeah, it fits pretty well. It fits good on my tiny little feet. Uh, I like the strap at the top, and so I'd give it a. It's a narrow shoe, nine. all you wide foot people. Stay steer clear. 
You're clear. Yeah, okay. get, get a half size lower from most Nike shoes except the fly. Overall rating, I'd give it a seven and a half. Seven and a half for the whole thing? Yeah. I'll give it a seven. Just because of cushioning and traction the two most, imp I think like sometimes the two most important things of a shoe are not very good. Yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'm with Liam. I'll give it a seven and a half. Okay. okay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment your favorite shoe and which one we should do next. Turn on that notification. Sorry, guys, for that cut again. We need a new camera. This camera it just isn't working. No one likes the iPad. No one likes the iPad one. Yeah. At least it's not good for video. iPad tape. Air two, at least. Okay. Okay. Better. So we were just gonna tell you guys about our Easter special that's coming up. It's not really Easter related, but. Kind of. It has an Easter basket in it. Yeah. It's going to come basket. out on Easter. We're going to release it on Easter. We're just giving you guys a sneak peek. And uh, we'll show you. What we'll show we... you this wonderful Easter basket we'll be using. And uh, we'll show you there are some things in it. You guys will have to wait and see. What's going to be about? What's going to be about? Yeah, all mm -hmm. you are lovely viewers. Is it 11 of you? 10? 13. We see you. We you, see you guys don't go unnoticed. And we love each and every one of you. Yeah, yep. Utah. Huh? Except for if I subscribe. Of course, I watch all of her views. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 22 views. I watch it 22 times. Okay. Stay tuned for that Easter <laughs> special. See ya.